Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. In today's session we're going to be digging way back into American history, learning an old spiritual from the 1860s entitled Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. So this is a tune that I grew up singing so I thought I'd make my own arrangement for it in the key of B and we're going to be mixing together various percussive fingerstyle techniques. You can follow along using my tablature at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, become a member there to gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now let's get started. One, two, three, four, and... Okay, close look at the fretboard. We're in standard tuning, key of B major. Now we're going to get started learning the chords we're going to be needing for this tune. It's very basic, just a 1-4-5 progression in the key of B, though we're going to be throwing in some optional passing chords. So your first chord, B major. Very simple, I've got the second fret of the A string, and I'm barring on the D, G, and B strings fourth fret. B major. Next, we need to go to the four chord in this key, E dominant seven. I got the second fret of the A string and first fret of the G string for E seven. Okay, then the five chord in this key, F sharp dominant seven. Okay, for this chord, I've got my thumb nice and low, so the index finger straightens. I've got my ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string and my middle finger on the second fret of the G string. Pulling back with both arms, pressing my chest into the guitar for extra pressure. F sharp dominant seven. Okay, so there's your one, four, five progression. In the key of B. But we're gonna be throwing in some extra chords here and there. The first of those two extra chords is going to be the minor six chord, G sharp minor seven. Which we're gonna be using as a walk down to the five chord. Okay, so for this chord, I've got the fourth fret of the low E string, and again, just like the B chord, I'm barring across the D, G, and B strings with my ring finger. Okay, the A string is muted, and so is the high E string. G sharp minor seven. Okay, and the second optional chord shape that we have is going to be a different version of the five chord. Okay, it's going to be F sharp augmented. One of my favorite shapes, very cool, very jazzy. Okay, so for this chord, which kind of gives us a lot of tension to drive us back to the one chord, we're gonna have the index finger barring across the second fret, then my middle and my ring fingers are going to be positioned on the third frets of the G string and B string. Okay, F sharp augmented. Okay, playing through a stripped down version of the chorus, seeing how these changes line up with the lyrics. So, getting started with the B major chord, swing low. Sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Is that augmented? Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Okay, so we want to memorize that. Now we're ready to move on to learning some fingerstyle technique. 
Okay, breaking down how to perform the verse and the chorus sections. We have two lines of tablature. I'm gonna get started demonstrating line number one, going into the first measure of line number two. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, and... Okay, we'll stop right there. We're gonna break that down measure by measure. Okay, jumping into measure number one. Again, it sounds like this. Okay, so my thumb is designated to the low strings, and remember that my index, middle, and ring are dedicated to the G string, B string, and high E string. My thumb gets to start it on the A string, second fret, then a double pluck, G and B. Slap the strings. Go back to the A string, back to the high strings, G and B, and then slap again before playing the low E string open to set up the E dominant seven chord. Okay, you put that together and we have measure one. Okay, now measure two is gonna sound like this. All right, that got us into measure three. We had that low E string finishing up measure one. Then we're gonna do a hammer on in the G string, and then play the open B string. Okay, that's exactly what you're gonna play over all these E7 chord shapes. All right, then go back to the slap and the B major chord. Open A string, and then the second fret of the A string, followed by those highs, four and four on the G and B string. That doesn't quite finish up the measure, so far you have. All right, then we slap, and then play the open A string, which is just being used to kind of get us to the second fret, like a walk up, kind of funky way of walking up to the root notes of the B chord. Okay, that's two measures of music right there. I'm gonna play it real slow so that way you can get it. So we have the B chord. Slap. Ah, right there getting started with measure number three. It's basically going to be identical to the first measure, but we're gonna be throwing in that G sharp minor seven chord right at the end. So measure three. Okay, so that part's pretty simple. So we had the A string, the highs, the slap. All right, then second fret A string again, back to the G and B, and then the G sharp minor seven chord. Grabbing the low E string, G string, and B string. All at once there, triple pluck. Okay, that's three measures of music. Measure one. Slap, E, slap. All right, then on to the fourth and final measure of line number one we're gonna have. All right, again, that open A string finishing up that measure and then getting you back to the root of the B chord. Okay, so that began with the F sharp dominant seven chord. You hit the root, the high is G and B. Slap into position, back to the root note, F sharp. And then we're gonna grab the G and B strings of the F sharp augmented chord. Okay, now if you wanna bar the strings, then you can get that dominant seven in there on the D string on your upstroke but otherwise, you can just fret the second fret of the low E string, and then grab the third frets of the G and B string for ease. From there, you're gonna do another slap, and then play the open A string to set up the next measure in B. You put that together, and we've got. Okay, now let's play all of line number one. Okay, tying together four measures of music. Getting started with the B major, nice slow tempo. One, two, three, four, and B. E, B. G sharp, F sharp, augmented. Okay, now we're ready to move on to line number two. Okay, moving on to line number two. Great news here. The first two measures are the exact same as the first two measures of line number one. So you have that B chord. The E7. OK, 
Okay, now that gets you to lines three and four, which are going to be very simple. They should sound like this. Okay, so very simple. We're basically just going back and forth between the one, the five, and the one. B, F sharp, B. Okay, so the bass note followed by the highs, a slap. All right, then play the open E string, and then the second fret. So far you have in measure number three. All right, set up your F sharp seven chord. Go straight to the highs. All right, so then slap again and then play the open A string. That's measure three right there. So, bass, high, slap, bass, bass, high, slap, bass. It's the open A string. Now, finish up on measure number four. We're gonna play bass, high, slap, bass, high, and slap to finish up that entire routine there. Okay, so now I'm gonna play through all of line number two, then we're going to play the entire chord progression for this verse and chorus section. All right, playing all the way through line number two, starting with that B chord, nice slow tempo. One, two, three, four, and B. E7, Okay, now let's tie that in to line number one. We're gonna play the entire chord progression for the verse and chorus sections. Okay, playing through at a nice slow tempo with the lyrics. One, two, three. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, just like that. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Swing Low Sweet Chariot. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.